And police used some of that uh, non-lethal artillery on Saturday night after protesters became combative. This one, public works crews tried to collect the tents and shelters they had set up. Channel 2 photojournalist Isaiah Medina takes us inside the chaos. Today, I saw the police <laughs> become brutal for no reason. I saw them charge a guy. I saw them choke a guy. I saw people get tear gassed that were not violent. I saw people get hurt today. Oh, here we go. Unfortunately, at a certain point, they went up onto the state capitol grounds in an area that they were told to evacuate. They chose not to do that. And we're not going away. Mexican land. This is everybody's land. But this Things escalated from there. Some of the members of the group chose to take some violent action. I saw perfectly peaceful people get pushed down by the police and sprayed and tear gas. We did use what we call less lethal force options. You don't need to push. You only have to stay at one time. Um, some of our officers started to take those tents down and then were attacked by the protesters. The violence that I saw today did not need to happen. We made a total of 20 arrests. It's part of that we're fighting for. Now we're dispersing. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Because it's not illegal for them to be in the park. This is way bigger than us. It's only illegal for them to have this is the global movement. Uh, structures in the park. This is the beginning of revolution. Again, that was Isaiah Medina, one of our photojournalists with that. Well, he will be our new police chief pending city